I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It don't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It don't matter if you rich or poor. It don't matter if you the toughest to the softest or the weakest person on the face of this earth. It don't matter if you dark or, or light skinned, black or white. It don't matter if you homeless. I greet all of you all with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It don't even matter if you are my enemies. If you someone that don't even like my YouTube videos, which I have a few that don't. But I still greet all of you all with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Uh, this afternoon is July the 13th, 2019. The time being about 2.25 p.m. Uh, this is the continuation or part two of Raymond Lewis Ivy message and thoughts for June, July the 13th or 713, 19. This is part two, continuation from part one. I, I ended up telling you in part one was telling you about uh, uh, Danny Davis, the congressman from Illinois, Danny Davis, great, uh, I mean, grandson was, was murdered by two individuals who will be going on trial, I believe it's uh, on the 22nd of July, the Monday after next, I believe it is. And uh, I was mentioning the fact that Danny Davis is well known. And sometime when well known individuals, loved ones is murdered or catch a case, people tend to Pay more attention to it, especially when it's a black person, than they would when uh, a black a, a black person that's not known a uh, family a member is uh, killed or they do the killing. I forgot to tell y'all for those that don't know, I'm back at my favorite place. You can see the geese; they submitting to the will of God. You see. God didn't intend for them to be in this water to be fighting and trying to kill each other. He, he intended for them to enjoy it like they're doing now. They're enjoying the water. When they're tired and want to rest, they're sitting over there on the shore. The highway again, I told you all this highway out here to see the vehicle that's going now. The truck, the car that just went past the uh, the uh, SUV in the truck that's going southbound. This truck here is going uh, northbound on Interstate 55. But this is a peaceful place. If a lot of you all observe it, you'll know when I came earlier, I was in my SUV. And now I'm in my Crown Victoria. God has been good to me in my household. But what I want to get back on to focus on is the young people, especially young blacks, are asking me the question about God and structure. So I'm going to have to try to stay focused on the things that God sent me to do while I'm still alive. I don't want to die with young people thinking that I feel that killing is the first result in anything. Don't get me wrong, you may come to a point in life once in during your lifetime that you may have to result to the Bible in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, one through eight, where it says a time and a place for everything up under the sun, S-U-N, here on earth. It's a time to love and it's a time to hate. I love seeing these geese playing in the water in harmony and not killing each other. I love to see the other set of them over there on shore. They're tired. They're they chilling out. 
like human beings normally would do at the beaches. And at some point, I, I hate when I talk to young people, young blacks, that's having to leave the place they grew up in because blacks is killing blacks at a high rate for no reason at all. Not everywhere, but a lot of places. And there's little to nothing being done. You know, back to the politicians, y'all. You got the Democrats and the Republicans. You have some independents. But the majority of the congressmen and representatives are Democrats and Republicans. Like I told you all before, the lower house of representatives, I believe to the best of my knowledge, has 435 representative men and women, uh, some of all nationalities, a lot of them being attorneys, doctors, people with knowledge to be able to help other people in this country, let alone in the world. Then you have the upper house, you have the, the uh, uh, congressmen, I believe it's 100 congressmen, uh, 50, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, two to each uh, one of the states. But if you notice, the Republicans and Democrats, the Republicans is fighting the Republicans. Some of them don't like Trump, some do. That goes to any president that comes and sit in the White House. Some of the same parties, the Republicans don't like the a Republican president. Some of them don't like the, uh, and then the Democrats the same way. Some of them don't like the Democrat Republic. I mean, uh, uh, a president. Then, you know, people have their opinions about uh, President Obama. Some say he's the greatest president that ever, that ever was here in the United States. That's their opinion. Even though I don't agree with them, but that's their opinion. I don't have no reason to try to fight and argue with them about it. You see what I'm saying? All I can do is express my views. But what I want to show y'all is, now you have all of these representatives. Yeah, like I said, it's 400, I believe, and 35 uh, 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 lower house representatives and 100, I believe, it could be more now, 100 uh, senators. That's a total of 535 people that's in the White House alone. And it's more people that with different positions like the vice president, the president, the secretary of state, and I can go on and on. But you have 500 individuals, 500 individuals out of the 61 years in my life, none of them, you hear me? None of them has been able to solve the problem of black on black crime. And if you look at it, you may have a few talking about it, but that's not the main issue nowhere because if it was, if they can walk out when they don't like what Trump do or Obama do or what a Democrat do or a Republican do, then they'll walk out until this black on black crime stop because all of us blacks is not out there killing other blacks for drugs, gangs, and for no other reason. It's some of us that want to live. You see what I'm saying? God allowed me to be in this little small town of Charleston, Missouri, of 5,947 people, give or take, for 23 years for a reason. You see, it's hard to map it out in a big city because you got different ward ordinance, you got, you got, you know, you got different uh, representatives because it's a bigger uh, a city than Charleston, Missouri. But it didn't make me, it wasn't hard for me to figure it out here you see what I'm saying? I'm looking at the people that's not just running Charleston, Missouri, but the black people that has the power to make a change. The only thing that they are doing is finding new ways to get this grant money for our black children now, because all the programs is in the black neighborhoods. Like the blacks is only one half problem. 
You see what I'm saying? But the money givers, they don't live in the neighborhood, whether they black or white. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just showing you something. Why in these big cities, most times, now you got some people that's fighting against trying to stop this black on black crime. But here in Charleston, Missouri, I got a chance to witness it for myself. When voices like mine speak up, that's when black people get to the attacking you. Not all blacks, but the ones that's getting this grant money. They, they tell you, well, we got basketball programs for the children. When the basketball programs is all over with, you talk to some of them children, not all. They can't even spell basketball, let alone do they have any structure. And this is not all. I'm talking facts. They have these lunch programs. I don't take, I took my children to one because somebody that ran it asked me to bring my children. But then when I got there, they want your children's Medicaid and Medicare number if you have one, your, the insurance that you have. They want your social security number. They want their date of birth for what? The government gave you this stuff. You got people on your payroll, the same people on your payroll. You don't want to hire people that's knowledgeable or other people give them a chance like when I was coming up. They gave all people a chance to get these summer jobs. But it's not like that in Charleston, Missouri. And I'm ima I imagine it's not like that in these bigger cities. But keep following me if you will. You see, I waited for about three or four hours before I made part two just to see because what I was talking about on part one, it was positive about God and trying to talk about the black on black crime. And I had one dislike already, but the people don't know you wasting your time when you punch a like or dislike because I'm not looking for neither one. All I'm looking for is awaken some people. Now, look at the a lunch program down here in Charles, Missouri. Some of these, one of these guys came and told me and some other people think the same thing. They think this one individual down here came up with the uh, free lunch program. The Black Panthers was doing it and they wasn't doing it for money. The Black Panthers not only fed us, they educated us. And at the same time, they knew their constitutional rights. They can carry them shotguns and they can protect us from Police that was corrupted like we have here in Charleston, Missouri. Not all of them, but some of them. Most of the high, all of the high ranking here in Charleston, Missouri. But they was protecting us. These people here to get in the grant money, they won't even go up against the police department. They won't go up against the Charleston R1 school district. They won't go up against the city hall. They won't go up against the 33rd circuit court. They won't go up against none of these people. And I'm not saying all of them is corrupted, but majority of them are, they ain't gonna go up against them. You see what I'm saying? When they kill a police, kill somebody, they won't let, they won't try to get the federal government to come in. They'll keep it on a state or a local or a city level because they know it ain't gonna go that far. My case wasn't even a murder when they did let a, a white bus driver do something to my child in the school in the Charleston R1 school district when she was five years old and a white bus driver did something to her. He endangered her and did something else that he shouldn't have did. You see what I'm saying? It should have been a police report, but wasn't one made. The, the same Charleston R1 school district police officer, she works for the Charleston, Missouri Police Department. Her family got ties, high ties in the city hall, in the police department in the city of Charleston, and they didn't do nothing about it. Couldn't get the NAACP president or past members or president to do nothing. Couldn't even get the national chapter. Couldn't get Jesse Jackson. Couldn't get Al Sharpton. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm Raymond Lewis Ivey. I'm not known to them, but I'm known now worldwide. And people is focused on Charleston, Missouri. You see what I'm saying? But here it is when a white female accused me of something, there's a police report. You see what I'm saying? The chief of police who was the lieutenant then, he wrote one and his white police officer wrote one. But there's them when the, when the white bus driver did something to my my then five-year-old child. But I got document proof. There was none when they came in my house and took my children without a, a warrant, or without probable cause, or without any of that. And my then a one going on two-year-old daughter arm was broke. You see what I'm saying? 
that's what's wrong today. You see, if they doing it to me and I'm still speaking up, you can imagine what they doing to these other people that's afraid to uh, speak up. That's why you study got this black on black crime because these people is thinking about grand money. They ain't thinking about your children. They ain't thinking about the misuse that being done to you. You know why? Because they working in the courthouse. They working in the police department. They working in the sheriff department and they working in these churches. That's where they getting all this money from. Think about it. Peace be still.